But I'm going to show you guys what the bun looked like before because you guys probably already forgot. But this is the before. One, two. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh wow. I recently watched this video which was basically a behind the scenes on how they do a McDonald's photo shoot. So they were basically taking photos of McDonald's food items and then those are the photos that you see on the menu, on the website. And watching this video, one of the things that stuck with me was the fact that they said that every single food used in that commercial photo shoot is exactly the same that you see at the restaurant. That burger was made in about a minute or so. The process we go through on the average shoot takes several hours. And here I think it's important to note that all the ingredients that Noah uses are the exact same ingredients that we use in the restaurant. Are the exact same ingredients that we use in the restaurant. Personally, I found that a little bit suspicious because, I mean, I love you McDonald's, but if you look at the photos of a McDonald's burger on the website, and then if you go and look up on Instagram, for example, a photo that someone took after they bought the burger, I mean, they're very, very different things. Like, very, very different looks we're talking about. So I started wondering, like, what is it? If they use the exact same foods, how does it looks so different because one of the tools that a lot of food advertisers use is Photoshop. After I watched this video, I did a lot of research and I actually found that in a lot of countries, when you do a photo shoot for a product, for a food product, you can't actually use anything that isn't the actual product. I mean, this is not a general rule, but sometimes that is the case. Now, here's when it gets interesting because one thing that isn't illegal is Photoshop. So, you actually allow allowed to change a photo completely for the final result that ends up on menus, on websites, which gave me the great idea for this video. So what we're going to be doing is I am going to be photographing at home with my own camera these food items from many different fast food places. We are going to be changing in Photoshop this photo to make it look like a commercial version of it. So essentially we're going to take a not so great photo and try to elevate it using tricks and Photoshop techniques that people use in food advertisement. I think the first thing we should do is obviously pick which food items we are going to Photoshop. Oh, this is such a bad idea. So I'm going to click on pizza because I want to see, okay, we're already there. So I want to see like all the pictures of the pizzas. Okay, this is going to be very difficult. I think I'm gonna go with a classic one. I think the pepperoni passion would be the best one for us to Photoshop because I mean, that's the one that everybody always orders, like the classic pizza. It looks great. Like every time you order this pizza, the pepperoni isn't floating on top of the pizza, like looking shiny and crispy. Most of the times it's slightly undercooked and it's got a lot of cheese covering all that pepperoni. It seems like a good challenge. So we are going to get just classic, no changes, a pepperoni passion pizza. Wow, I just saved five pounds. Best day of my life. <laughs> I'm already looking at these photos and come on guys, like it doesn't look like that. Like I know I always say this, but it never ever looks like that. Let me scroll down. Maybe we should get like a classic, like the Big Mac. Oh, this cheeseburger literally, I mean, guys, this has to be Photoshop. Look at that. It's been airbrushed. Look at the surface. Look at the bread. Like, have you ever seen bread that's smooth and like literally no texture to it? I mean, I cannot wait to take the photo and make this happen. Should we also get a dessert just to try something different? Like, do you think they Photoshop the desserts? I think that would be really interesting. So let's go um, to see something sweet. Oh, this one, Twix McFlurry. Like, <laughs> I mean, come on, let's keep it real. It never has that many toppings. Or usually it's like all the toppings are in like a corner. It's not ever that spread out and like uniform. Like they clearly did like 
chocolate chip by chocolate chip and then like smooth out the whole thing in Photoshop. So this would be a good one to also digitally change into this. So I feel like one of the most important steps is done, which is picking which food items are going to be our victims for this. We're gonna wait for the food to get here and the next step is actually very exciting because we're going to set up the lights and sort of try to recreate a professional photo shoot in my house, which it's going to be a first time on my channel. Not trying to alarm you, but it's gonna get real bright now. These are the lights that I used to film my videos. So I feel like I'm kind of showing you guys a behind the scenes. Wow, that's bright. Where's the pizza? I don't know where the pizza is. This is exactly what I said. First of all, the pepperoni is covered in cheese. That is exactly what I said it was going to happen. I mean, it looks great. Just nothing like it does in the photos. I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like, but I obviously want to show you one camera. So this is a cheeseburger. <laughs> That's all I'm going to show you for now. For the picture of the pizza, I think what they used was some wood as the background. And I might change the background like I said, but just in case my Photoshop skills are not the best, I'm going to try to take the photo like this. I'm gonna try to already add some background, so... Okay, I don't want to ruin the way this moves. Okay. That was not terrible. I'm genuinely trying to be as fair as I can be. I think there's a light above here. Oh, that will make it a lot better. I don't even know. How am I gonna do this? Maybe like... Oh, shoot. Um... Okay guys, so I'm gonna be using my phone to give you a behind the scenes because I'm actually gonna be using my actual camera for this. Um, so... Okay, so the way they took it was almost like just a corner. I do not have the skills for this. Okay, I think this is actually a good slice, this one here. I'm going to try to separate this. You guys can't really see, but what I'm trying to do is separating the slices because that's kind of what it looked like in the photo like they weren't all stuck <gasps> oh my god that actually looks kind of similar okay so i'm not i don't know if you guys can see but i'm like not completely unhappy with that i mean there's a lot of photoshop work to do here but i mean it does look kind of professional I mean, it's truly hard to believe that McDonald's uses these exact products for the photo shoot because, I mean, this looks nothing like it does on the website. Like this one, not even Photoshop can save that. It looks great. It smells great. Obviously, I want to eat it, but like it doesn't look like the stuff from the website. So this one clearly is not going to work. So I think we're going to work with the Big Mac because... Um, I mean, it's a lot less messy and the cheese in the bottom actually, like that actually doesn't look too different from the other one. Okay, we need to see a little bit of the vegetables. The meat is so much smaller and it's almost like burned in comparison and you can't even see the bottom. I think this might be a little too bright. It's actually crazy how it looks so tiny in real life. And then <laughs> when you see it on camera, it looks freaking massive. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually doesn't look tiny at all, which is really, really bizarre. But I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna try to do my best in making this. And I'm not sure if you guys remember, but the last food item that we talked about was something sweet. <laughs> this is also exactly what I said it was going to happen. Like, the toppings are basically a mess. Like, this looks nothing like it did. It's barely got any sauce as well, which is really annoying. Because that's kind of what makes it look better. We might have to give up on this one. I'm going to keep it real. Like, it wouldn't be fair when it looks so bad. <laughs> okay, 
I don't really know where to start, but I know one thing that's really bothering me, that is the bun, the fact that the bun is kind of all messed up, so I think that should be like a good place to start. How am I gonna fix this? Okay, we're gonna remove some of this, um, like wrinkles, is that what you call it? Like, I don't know, you just can see the texture of the bread. So that one is gone, and then there's one here on the side as well. Sorry, you need to go as well. Wow, that looks already like, oh, I feel like, I mean, I'm gonna do this later, but we need to add like one or two seeds. Should we add one more? It's also crazy like how natural it looks. This is why you can never trust Instagram and not food in general. Okay, so yeah, this is a big one. Okay, we're gonna use this tool. Okay, so this tool is basically like, it's like Facetune essentially, like it just pushes the image. So I'm gonna push this down a little bit. I mean, I'm probably gonna change like the whole proportions of the burger after, but I just wanna fix this part that's really bothering me. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this corner right here. Okay, this is not gonna be a perfect match. Okay, this might not look Okay, it's starting to look cleaner. And then I'm gonna fix, I'll fix the colors and everything after. Let's select this and drop it like that. Yeah, I mean, you can still tell that there's something going on here, but I'm hoping that when we're done, you won't be able to. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to fix like the texture of it so I'm just gonna drag it and then just replace it with like a much smoother part but I mean you can literally do anything on Photoshop like I don't even have the skills of the people who do this for McDonald's but this is just kind of like <laughs> to show you what you can do with it I think I'm happy with this. I mean, there's still a few things that like, I might like come in the end and just sort of clean it up, but I'm gonna show you guys what the bun looked like before because <laughs> you guys probably already forgot, but this is the before. One, two. Oh my God. <laughs> oh wow. I keep on switching because that's crazy. Like. Photoshop can literally change anything and like it actually looks realistic This is looking a lot different already, but I sort of have like this really problematic area, which is the cheese, because you can't see any of the meat. Um, so, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm gonna try to just add meat from the top and just sort of see if I can make it blend in. I don't know if this is... Hey, that's not too bad from far away. Um, <laughs> how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna make the whole burger look wider. I know it seems like I'm not doing much, but it's changing. When I show you the before and after, you guys will be speechless. Let me just fix the bread a little bit. I've noticed that the slices of bread on the original photo, on the one from the website, they look so much bigger and toasty. So we're really gonna have to step up our game here with the bread and also with the colors.
Oh my god, guys, I feel like I just spent a lifetime doing this, but like, I really hope that the before and after is going to be enough satisfying. So, I mean, I really like the overall look. I mean, is it exactly the same as the one on the website? No, and mostly because it's my photography skills, but, um, okay. This is gonna be the moment of truth. Let me zoom in because I feel like we need like to fully experience this. Okay, so I'm gonna remove like the colors that we did in the end. So this is without changing any of the colors. This is just the Photoshop effects. So this is the after burger and before this is what it looked like. Oh my God. <laughs> That's insane. It's literally like a new burger. Also, look at the beef. Like, it goes from literally like being the tiniest, like all messed up, slightly overcooked to like the biggest, nicest patty. This is so weird. This was a challenge. Um, I really didn't expect to spend so much time on this. And this is not even the difficult one because the pizza, like I don't know how we're gonna do that. <laughs> It is actually the next day and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I want you guys to actually understand how long it takes to like edit these photos like this is something that people put serious effort into and it is definitely like a skill that some people have. I'm feeling energized, I mean like <laughs> as much as I can be. This time around, I'm not gonna bore you guys with too many details because I feel like I did an okay job at showing you the tools and what kind of things you can do. Let's get into it. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do in this one is just crop the photo because on the photo on the Domino's website, it was kind of a close up, so I wanna just, I just want it to look similar. Also, less photo to edit, <laughs> me. I wish I could use this tool just in my life to just clean up everything. Clean up the haters, um, everything in between. Okay, let's make these pepperoni look smooth and snatched. This is um, the Kim Kardashian of pepperonis. <laughs> If you guys go and see um, the photo from the website, the crust is like completely different. It's so like big and fluffy and this one just looks so flat and like yellowish. So I'm gonna try to make it look bigger. I feel like you can tell this has been <laughs> edited. I think this is not gonna be a good one and I'm sorry. The thickness doesn't look natural. Still not trying to come for the Kardashians, I promise. Keeping things real, like, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like, the thing is, I'm trying to make it look so, like, smooth and plain, because if you look at the original photo, if you look at the photo on the website, there's literally no burn parts, so that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. But clearly, it's not working. I mean, it's looking a little more like that, because I sort of removed all the burn, but this is really, really difficult. I'm gonna make the pepperoni. Oh my god, that's way too much. Ah! Oh my god, what have I done? So this is the final product, and... I'm gonna show you what it looked like before. Okay, one, two. Wow. I mean, it's a huge difference, but like, I kind of think it looked better before. Obviously, if you're gonna put this on the official website, you don't want it to look so overcooked. So if you see the original one, I mean, there's literally no burnt pieces, so. It doesn't look exactly the same. The colors are a bit off, but I feel like we did okay. <laughs> you guys know that I'm not excited for this one. It's just because I just know that there's nothing we can like realistically do with this to make it look like 
the official photo shoot one. Not even Facetune <laughs> can save this. I've also been told that before. Yeah, not even pushing it. Look at that. It just ugh. This is what I feel like right now. This is a representation of me trying to edit this photo. This is a good one. <laughs> this face has got more Photoshop than the pizza. Something so creepy about looking at your own photos. Like, I actually can't look it in the eyes. I'm like, okay, that's good. <laughs> Perfect, exactly what we wanted. <laughs> Me trying to improve this ice cream. This is already worth all of it. <laughs> in case you ever wonder, this is what I do in my free time. Okay, we are truly elevating this video. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't see a photo of me. I love how I Google trash pile and I see a picture of Donald Trump. I don't want to be dramatic, but I feel like we're making art. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is this before and after is going to be the best one <laughs> so far. Obviously, we're joking with this last one, but you know, I kind of wanted to do this video because it didn't really fit into my food commercial hacks and also because I wanted to show you how the food industry can go around the rules even when they're not allowed to like use any other types of foods for the photo shoot they can still do all of these steps in Photoshop this is a huge part of the industry there are people who are specialists on food editing and just transforming like photos even if the photos aren't great even if the burger isn't like the biggest burger, you saw how you can literally turn it into everything. You can improve practically anything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, it would mean the world to me if you could give this video a like. Mostly because honestly, I've been filming this video for like three or four days and it's just been like so much going on. So many technical things that I never do. So this was me just sort of doing something different. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on. It would mean the world to me if you could join my channel and my content because we're gonna be doing a lot of different things going forward. So I really think you guys are going to enjoy my content. So yeah, I think that's about it guys. I love you guys. Hopefully you had fun and I will see you guys on my next video which I promise you is going to be soon it's not gonna be in a week this time around hopefully <laughs> I love you bye bye